Ritvik philosophy and practice is, at least ostensibly, Prabhupada-centered, and its theosophical and theological arguments are many. As of 1978, the Ishan confabulation was ridiculous. Neomat is ultimately as nutty as it is absurd, but what emerged in late 1989, the anti-Vaishnav make show known as Ritvik is the most absurd. The Ritviks have another idea, and their deviation has played havoc in the structure of postmodern Krishna consciousness. Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war. Consequently, there are many problems with force multipliers increasing due to various unauthorized ideas presented by the Ritviks and pushed by their movements, ideas that mostly benefit their own factions and upper echelons of those factions.